viewers welcome to kaiju documents today we'll be learning about green og part of the griosaurus family there's only two subjects of alive today a male and a female but siblings green og and pale but our main focus will be on green og how he lives and how he survives now let us go to the island where he lives here at the sandy beach is where the creature lays dormant. But when it's time to get up, the beast is ready. As we see, Green OG has stumbled across a Pettidons. These creatures were serve as food for the Kaijus. But for Green OG, he finds these creatures helpful. The reason why Green OG doesn't eat these creatures because he finds these creatures a lazy way to get some free food. Now it's time for the hunt. Now you're wondering, what does the lights on Green OG's body does? It's a little bit how creatures react in the dark, used for mating, and many other things. Green OG's tail, shaped like an alligator, is shaped like that for a reason, to help him swim and use for combat. The watering hole. It's where Green OG hunts his favorite place to be at. At the other side of the watering hole is a Mongzuzuru. In Japanese, stands for Monster Gazelle. But this isn't the only creature that's at the watering hole. A scurf buffalo has arrived to rest in the water. This is the creature that you do not want to have a fight with. The Rockatons. These creatures are deadly with their tusks and <laughs> and the rock beast the rock side a now, rocky rhino is much more dangerous than the rockaton by green settles for perfect meal.
at the mainlands, there is another creature that lives, but not on the ground, in the skies. Quilling, these creatures are peaceful and an ally to Green OG. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching Kaiju Documents. Next time, we'll reveal the Kaiju, how this thing fights.